you're out there trying to create the most innovative store brands possible, uh, we talked yesterday at SFA News Live about how you're, you're curating not only to the banner level, but to region level, that you can have products in certain stores for those customers, not in others. Um, the fact is, a report just came out about two months ago, that world food prices are up 8%. Yep. That's the question I'm going to ask all of you. How do we deal in this environment where everybody is pushing on price, store brands are becoming more important, not less important, store brands are becoming uh, tastier, um, healthier, uh, cooler to do. We've got a generation of millennials and Generation Z who really see no difference between national brands and store brands. How are you going to cope with, with your food costs going up 8%? So I think it's all about how you um, look at what it is the customers are looking for. Um, we've got um, a lot of stores across uh, over 2,000 in the um, US on the East Coast um, and also our e-commerce e business, Peapod. And through that, we're allowed to leverage quite a lot of scale. Um, also, as a business, uh, private brands, as you said, it's becoming more and more important for us. Our private brands are extremely important. They're one of our key um, strategic pillars, if you like, of our business. What percentage of your sales are private brands? Um, it varies by different brand. Yep. Um, oh, so it could be anything sort of, I guess, between 20 to 30 percent, those sort of those sort of figures potentially. Before I let you finish, on hy V, how much store brands? Uh, we're pushing 30 percent. Just 30 percent. OK. So and it varies by category as yep. well. Obviously, those areas where the national brands are more dominant, then we're going to have um, fewer store brands there. But I think there are certain categories where we can really provide a much more nimble way of approaching some of the requirements of the customers. So that's one of the things that private brands does offer. We can do a lot of trial. We can put products out much more quickly than some of the national brands. And that gives that excitement and energy to, to the product offering for our customers. Are you worried about 8% price increase? Of course. Who, yeah. who wouldn't be? Really? So how, how are you going to deal with it? So it's about how you formulate products, how you get the right, the best value, working with suppliers and vendors in a much more close um, way, and building those So you're going to hit them over the head? No, that, no, you have to have a much better, a much closer relationship. I mean, there are always going to be some products that are much more commodity driven, mm -hmm. and then there are those others where you can add value through a different way, um, and that customers will be willing to pay for those products, if you can give that. So